Hi everyone, let's be learning about narrative text. Okay, what is narrative text? The narrative text is a text that contains imaginary stories, fairy tales, or true stories that have been exaggerated. Usually, a moral value can be learned at the end of the story. What is the purpose of narrative text? The purpose of narrative text is to entertain the reader with the story and the moral values contained in the story. Here are types of narrative text. 1. Fable Fables are about animals that can talk and act like people, plants, or natural forces like lightning or wind. Plants may be able to move as well as speak and the forces of nature cause things to happen in the story because of their powers. 2. Myth Myths consist of stories that explain how our world works and how we should trade each story. Usually, said a long time ago, before history as we know it was written. In other myths, gods or super beings use their powers to create events or stories about the adventures of gods, goddesses, men, and women. Myths describe great things that happen to people and the choices they make. 3. Legend Legends are also stories that have been created but they are different from myths. Myths answer questions about the workings of nature and are set long ago before history was written. Legends about people and actions or deeds. People live in more recent times and were mentioned in history. Stories are told for a purpose and are based on facts, but they don't exist. 4. Folklore Folklore is a story passed down from generation to generation until it becomes part of the community's tradition. 5. Fairy tales Fairy tales are stories written especially for children, often about magical characters such as elves, fairies, goblins, and giants, sometimes animal characters. 6. Romance Romance is a story that tells generally the love struggle of the main character or about the love story of the characters. What is structure of the narrative text? First, orientation contains the introduction of characters, places, and times. Orientation is at the beginning of the story. Second, complication, an issue race that is followed by other issues. The complication is in the middle of the story. Third, resolution, solution to the problem. The solution is at the end of the story. Let's see the story about the bear and rabbit, and let us make the structure of this story. For the orientation are once upon a time, a bear and a rabbit live. The rabbit is a good shot. On the contrary, the bear is always clumsy and could not use the arrow. Why this is the orientation? Because at the beginning is an introduction to the story and characters, usually made to start a story. And at the very beginning of this story, the characters of the bear and the hare are told. And the complication are one day, the bear called over the rabbit and asked the rabbit to take his bow and arose. The rabbit was fearing to arouse the bear's anger, so he could not refuse it. He went with the bear and shot enough buffalo to satisfy the hungry family. Indeed, 
he shot and killed so many that lots of meat were left after. However, the bear didn't want the rabbit to get any of the meat. The rabbit could not even taste the meat. The poor rabbit would have to go home hungry after his hard day's work. Why this part is complication? Because this is the middle of the story which contains the beginning of the problem to the climax of the story problem. The problem in this story is when the rabbit is afraid of the bear, so the rabbit takes a rose and a rose to the bear. However, the bear didn't give him the meat he shot, even though the rabbit had worked hard but had to go home without receiving any reward. The resolution in this story are the bear was the father of five children. Fortunately, the youngest child was very kind to the rabbit. He was a very hearty eater. The mother bears always gave him an extra large piece of meat, but the youngest child didn't eat it. He would take it outside with him and pretend to play ball he meet. He kicked toward the rabbit's house. When he got close to the door, he gave the meat with a great kick. The meat flies into the rabbit's house. In this way, the poor rabbit would get his meal. Why this part is the resolution? Because this section is the completion of the story problem. Bear has five children and a wife. The youngest cub was a little bear who was always kind to the bunny. He always gets the big piece of meat that the mother bear gives him. Then the little rabbit took the meat out and kicked the meat all the way to the rabbit's house. The rabbit accepts the meat and the rabbit gets food. Okay, easy right? So, each story has its own moral value, especially in narrative text. Thank you for watching!